The EMTB world is changing. Now Shimano have just come to market and they have monumentally upped the game. Yes, we're talking new motors, but the big news is automatic shifting. Now this really is groundbreaking in terms of shifting technology and we've got all the information for you. Now, I didn't really see this come in, I have to be honest with you, but now I've seen them, it makes so much sense. And it really does emphasize that e-mountain bikes are really where all the new technology and people's mindsets are. I can tell you that the new products will uh, allow us to ride differently and also more efficiently. And I think in general, it shows that we really are on an upward curve of technology, which is similar to what MTB was in the, in the mid to late 90s. So uh, super exciting times. Now, as I mentioned, the products are new motors and also new shifting. But first of all, I wanna give you two quotes which come directly from Shimano. The first one is a new ecosystem which only we can engineer. So obviously that's laying down a massive mark of the industry. And the second one, never seen before heights. So these are big statements from Shimano themselves. So uh, let's now take a closer look at those products. Now, hopefully we'll have a bike with this new technology very shortly. But for now, Shimano have furnished us with some very juicy images. First up, folks, is motors. Now, there is a new EP8 and a new EP6. Uh, 85 newton meters, and they operate at a much broader cadence range than ever before. Uh, the connectivity is increased over previous models, but the big news is that EP6. Now, the EP6 has got the same features as the EP8, roughly the same weight, but comes in at a much more affordable price. There are now 15 modes of assistance for a very unique ride. You can update firmware wirelessly. There is improved heat management for longer climbs and advanced levels of intelligent assist, which adjusts to your riding requirement. Next is intelligent shifting. Now I'm sat next to an XTR Direlli here, which I'm particularly fond of, but many of us will be seeing that less so in the future because there is an all new DI2 group set. And when used in conjunction with Link Glide, now you might have heard us talk about Link Glide before, which is a more durable, stronger drivetrain, more suited to EMTBs. Well, if you have that with DI2, then that means you can tap in to auto shift. DI2 will come in two options, Hyperglide Plus for 12-speed drive strings using free shift, and then the Link Glide version for 11-speed, which you'll be able to have both free shift and auto shift. Now, free shift is the ability to change gear without pedaling. And I can think of a ton of situations where that would come in handy, such as when you're coming down a downhill, you've got an uphill ahead of you, and you wanna grab a bunch of gears really quickly, the free shift will allow you to do that instantaneously. Auto shift, on the other hand, is massively game-changing. It keeps you in the right gear on any terrain. The sensor technology here tracks your cadence, torque, and speed to ensure you're in the right gear. This really is groundbreaking new shifting technology, fully integrated into your e-bike and working harmoniously, enabling you to enjoy your ride smoother and also intuitively. I'm just trying to get my head around this. So basically ascending, descending along the flat or coming to the stop, it will automatically change gear for you without you having to think about it. So in a situation like this now, if I'd have been in say fifth gear, Auto shift would have put me in the right gear so I can start off without thinking. You know, I've been thinking about this whole auto shift business. If you think about the changing type of terrain that you ride on an e-bike and you don't have to get off and push, you try to keep your flow going through the terrain. So auto shift really is going to allow you to focus on your line choice. It's going to focus on what's around you and pretty much nail your ride without wondering about gears or other things going on in your bike. This really is big news, folks. Now, hopefully we will see auto shift and free shift on bikes this year, hopefully. And also more of that link light technology, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. Um, oh, there was one other thing which I didn't talk about, and that is the new app and the features that goes with it. Equally as important. 
Now, Auto Shift and Free Shift are fully customizable in the app, which means you can tweak and have multiple presets depending on your ride. For example, you might not want Auto Shift to be too sensitive on Super Tech climbs, whilst you might want it to be so on flowing single track to maintain cadence and therefore flow. Your e bike can now be fully customizable, and we're getting into tech only previously seen on cars. So many features to talk about and which we'll hopefully get our hands on in the future, such things as personalizing auto and free shift, customizing starter gear and climb response, choosing quick response for pedaling efficiency or moderate response to focus more on bike control. You can adjust the cadence range and therefore shift the timing. You can change the climbing responsiveness at five levels. You can adjust the starter gear, start in an easier gear or a hard gear. So what do you think? Are we beginning the next era of mountain bike technology with Auto Shift? And remember, it's not just about the Auto Shift and Free Shift. There's also the new Shimano EP8 and EP6 motor, which makes it slightly more affordable, which I think is great news for a lot of people. I mean, I already love my Canyon uh, Spectral CFR, but the thought of being able to ride an e-mountain bike in terrain without having to crunch through the gears or, or preempt what's coming ahead of you and get and select the right gear because let's face it having the right gear on an e-bike is possibly one of the key things to understand well I mean that just for me it, it certainly does so uh, thanks for watching folks uh, please don't forget to subscribe to EMBN for more e-mountain bike content and we'll see you next time